Um, great team win, a uh, lot of improvement. Uh, really happy about the hard work over the holidays. Um, and I love our defensive effort uh, throughout the game. Uh, we talked about how we can't get older. And, and we're the 348th youngest team in the country. It goes Duke, Kentucky, uh, Robert Morris, us. So we can't change our age, but we can change our maturity, uh, 347th. So w w we can change our maturity, and we can be more mature, and we can handle ourselves out there in a better way, and we can play with a great deal of tenacity for 40 minutes. And we've, been, we, we've gotten up to 34, 35 minutes, and, and we've talked all ho over the holidays about playing hard for 40 minutes. And, and um, I thought tonight that we did that. And it might have been the first time, but I thought tonight we put a full 40 minutes together. Uh, these two guys were great, and uh, our team was really good. Uh, we got to put it in perspective. It's one of 18. Uh, we'll quick turnaround and play a very, very good team on Tuesday. Obviously, one of the preseason favorites. And um, uh, we still have a lot of work to do. Our goal today was improve, and we'll watch the film to see if we did, did that. I, I think we did. And i um, very thankful for the effort from these guys. You get a win in the conference opener. I mean, I know it's, uh, it was Longwood who didn't have their best player and whatever, but I know how important that is, especially you go the next two on the road. You needed to, you needed to come out and make a statement today uh, in a conference game. Yeah, we did, but I just wanted to see us improve. I mean, we, we're, we're still, I mean, we're trying to move up. We're trying to grow every day. And I thought uh, today was an opportunity to improve. And so that's what we're focusing on. Giving these guys any more than that is, is, is too much for a young team. And, and um, I think everybody knew we had two on the road and we really needed this one, but we didn't talk about it. We just talked about improving and defending and rebounding. And uh, I haven't looked at the boards, but um, we, we were plus four on the boards, which is a little low for us. We were, we're averaging about plus eight. So. Um, We'll look and see if we improved. I believe we did. Is this the most efficient game offensively that you've had? Maybe, though. I mean, you shot like 48%, and it was pretty 48% pretty much the whole game. 11, only 11 turnovers. A couple of those came late. Yeah. Um, but for the most part, it was like seven or eight. Uh, but uh, from an offensive standpoint, a lot of balance, a lot of guys involved, took care of the basketball, shot the ball better than yeah. they have recently. We've talked a lot about turnovers. You know, we're way, way on the negative side assist to turnover. And, and that part of that is a young team. And, and, and part of the improvement on that is Jamal David. Uh, four assists, no turnovers. And uh, he is a magnificent passer. He helps our offense move fluidly. Uh, he's willing to be a guy that will play 25, 30 minutes and only take a couple shots. And he'll defer offensively uh, to, to guys who, are, who, who we want to shoot the ball. And uh, so we've been real pleased. That's this is game three of that experiment with him at the point guard, and I think he's I think he's gotten better each game. And um, I appreciate his attitude and his willingness to to move the ball. And a lot of our offensive efficiency is is due to his passing. Christian, can you talk about the, the team's uh, offensive performance tonight, uh, and even on the defensive side? I mean, twenty nine turnovers. They had twenty nine turnovers. That's a lot of turnovers. But a lot of but how, how much how much is it? more an attitude about, you know, a lot of a lot of people give the lip service to defense, but you gotta have that attitude to play defense, right? Yeah, you just gotta have that nastiness and grit and toughness to play defense. And that's what we just committed to as a team. Uh, my teammates, you just gotta glorify them because we just set our mind to playing defense and rebounding. That's our that's our goals. We know that's what coach told us that's gonna win. So we just buy in. So defense and rebound, so that's what we go do. And we just like what he said, we've been playing like 35, 36 minutes. But we, when we get that full 40 minutes, that's when it's scary. And we just had to come out here to make a statement, approve something like, but this gotta be every night, we gotta stay consistent. But you know, my teammates, it, just, it was just a totally team effort on the defense end. Mm -hmm. Glenn, obviously you guys had the big lead at the half and then you kinda uh, kept the foot on the pedal in the second half. How big was that to, to not let up in the second half? 
Uh, it was very big. We came in in the halftime talking to uh, – coach talked to us to keep the foot on the pedal because a lot of times in the game before we uh, let it off on the gas a little bit defensively. So when we came back um, in halftime, we went back out, we just kept – we kept saying to each other, Christian kept telling everybody to keep the foot on the gas, keep, keep going, keep going, and we just finished strong. Yeah. Travel plans. Uh, we're going to leave. We're going to practice New Year's Day at eight in the morning, and uh, and then we're going to prepare for Liberty tomorrow and New Year's Day, and then we're going to bus up and get there and get bedded down. And um, we want to have a fun trip up. We want to get our work done, enjoy watching the bowl games, and you know enjoy the travel together. Uh, college basketball is supposed to be fun, and th these these guys don't have any problem having fun. Uh, so we'll get there and enjoy um, uh, the travel and get there and get bedded down. And, and um, I haven't even looked at Liberty yet. We take it one game at a time. I haven't watched one minute of film. Uh, but we'll get this done tonight, and uh, we'll, be, we'll be ready for, to start to prepare our team uh, for a tough game on Tuesday night. They come fast now. I mean, they come really fast. And, and um, so I'm thankful for the, for the hard work these guys were willing to do over the holidays. It's hard to practice on the t December 26th. And these guys came in with a great attitude. And, and tonight our execution began to catch up with our attitude and our effort. Our attitude and our effort has been A+. Plus. I love this team. And our execution has started to make that journey and turn uh, towards a better grade. And, um, if these guys keep keep working, uh, then our execution will catch up. 